that, that you can get on the system, uh, yarn, there's tons of different types and this will remove all of those for you. Now the thing to remember when removing root kits is that when you remove a root kit sometimes it can damage the operating system i.e. Windows updates, Windows firewall, uh, the internet, all this sort of stuff okay but with Malwarebytes they've actually installed a little tool in there to actually fix those issues. Now I'm not saying it's going to work on every single machine and fix every known issue but it's good to have that type of tool in there that's going to help you fix those issues for you. Now this is not a one tool fix all type of program it's going to be used in conjunction with other tools and uh, if you use these uh, types of tools all together then you're going to be able to defeat malware uh, much more easier. So let's uh, start off with opening up our program and I'm just going to drag this to the desktop and uh, basically that's the folder there with the program inside of it as you can see here now you can see we've got MBAR which is the actual Malwarebytes anti root kit and we've also got a fixed damage and this is the actual tool that's going to fix your internet uh, windows updates and stuff like that or attempt to fix it I should say um, and pretty much once we run this we're going to run some scans on the system now I've infected some uh, rootkits on here and we're going to see how it uh, deals with those now it may not be able to fix all of these uh, rootkits but um, what you can do is as I said get rid of the most of it and then try to use other tools as well to help you so I'm going to go through here and uh, click on the update to get the latest database now Malwarebytes work very hard in keeping their database up to date so it can remove all the latest uh, variants of these types of rootkits um, and it's the same with their other products that we've got so what we're going to do here is run a scan on drivers sectors and also system this is the key areas where rootkits uh, reside and we're going to do a quick scan on that As you can see we've already found something on the system, it's in the drivers folder and the master boot record has been now changed as you can see here, start to detect stuff. Ok so that's now the scan now finished and as you can see it's found 19 infections, that's quite a lot, uh, there's some nasty uh, rootkits on here as you can see we've got the master boot record. Uh, on drive zero that's been changed and we've also got some uh, system files that have uh, been added onto the system uh, droppers and stuff like that also um, an installer folder with the uh, shell extension uh, .dll has been added on there and uh, you can see some other stuff on there like zero access and stuff like that that's been added on here okay backdoor and we're going to remove all that so what we're going to do here is click, click on the uh, clean up. It's going to create a restore point and then uh, try to clean these off the system. Now it may need a second scan uh, to remove the rest of this. So what we're going to do here is click on yes here to reboot. And we'll just let this load in. Okay, I'm going to click on run here. Okay, so let's uh, open up the folder and you can see now we've got a system login here which is all the uh, files. And then we've also got a log file which is the actual removal process and we can see that it's re delete on reboot and so on. You can see what it's done here. And these are really useful uh, for finding out what's left on the system what, and what it's been removed. Okay, so let's give this one more scan. It's always good to give it a double scan, you know, do one scan and do another scan just to make sure that everything has been removed from the system. Do another quick scan. Okay, so as you can see, 
it's having trouble removing uh, this shell extension ex.dll but I've seen it has had a bit of trouble to remove this so we can always remove this in a live environment so we're going to boot up into a live CD and just remove this file and then we should be pretty much good to go from there okay so now it wants to try to remove this area here and we know where that area is I'll show you where that is just need to show hidden files and folders gonna take the tick out there gonna go to users here and then the account app data roaming and then installer it's inside here so let me see which one it was okay it's in the 943 folder these folders shouldn't be here and it's this file here okay so we can remove this these folders shouldn't be here these are infected files this obviously this is uh, redundant so we can remove this file now you can't delete this file it is right protected or well, it's a running process and we can get rid of this so what I'll do is I'll try to clean up method Now I'm going to reboot into a live CD to remove it from there. So I'm going to reboot into my live CD and then we're going to remove it uh, from that location. So I'm just going to quickly boot into Hiron's boot CD here. Now you can use whatever live CD you want. Um, Kaspersky live CD this boots up very quickly that's the reason why I'm using it and I'm only interested in going to that location and then removing it from there see go to the actual account and then roaming folder and installer and I can see this folder here it's not this one it's the other one but both of these have been from a pre that was from a previous infection and it's this file here that's having trouble okay so I'm just gonna delete these folders from there okay and that installer folder shouldn't be there I don't think but um, what we're gonna do here now is shut down and reboot the system take the CD out okay you can see now the run DLL can't find this location and that's okay so what we're going to do here now is run another scan with this rootkit tool here and run another scan okay so no malware found so that's now done and as you can see malwarebytes anti rootkit uh, beta is a very powerful tool at removing uh, really nasty rootkits on the system there there was some real nasty stuff on there and it dealt with it quite comfortably now there was one thing left behind and that's okay uh, we still dealt with that in another way and I would also say that you know you've got to give it a fair crack it is in beta and uh, things are changing all the time and you can also use other tools in conjunction with this uh, type of program like Malwarebytes uh, and stuff like that and uh, ASW MBR and things like that you can use all these in conjunction with Malwarebytes to try and tidy up and remove all those stubborn to remove uh, rootkits from the system it's done a good job in my opinion um, again I would also run other scans I wouldn't just leave it at that once I've seen rootkits on the system I would run a scan and this is another good tool to run and you can see there's that run DLL32 uh, on the system there and 
this will remove any sort of last parts there any remnants it's probably registry keys and stuff like that so we'll remove those I'm just gonna do a quick fix host fix proxy and a fix DNS I'm gonna close that off and then we're gonna do a quick scan with uh, Hitman Pro and also we'll do another scan with Malwarebytes as well when you're dealing with rootkits you've got to be very thorough to make sure everything has gone from the system okay so you can see the scans now coming up nice and clean uh, road killers um, an okay tool there's nothing wrong with that at all so I'm going to close that off I'm going to quickly install Malwarebytes itself here can uh, enable the free trial for pro version if you wish internet seems to be downloading okay now if I did have a problem I'm going to go into the Malwarebytes rootkit tool there and use the fix and we'll have a look at that in a second and as you can see we've got a clean bill of health there nothing on the system which is all good and again as I said we wanted to look at the fixed damage here now if you've got problems with your internet or Windows updates or anything like that you can always run this tool here and I'm going to quickly right click and run this as administrator in case it needs uh, privileges to do that and uh, what we're going to do here is say yes to this so we just put a wire in and uh, that's gonna apply the fix and it's saying it should be rebooted so I'm going to say Y for yes again okay as you can see now systems running a lot smoother a lot faster and you can see all those root kits are now gone so there was no need to format we didn't have to do that and uh, what I'm going to do here is quickly hide the operating system files here and pretty much I would say that's a job well done and uh, I would say that Malwarebytes anti root kit there is a really good tool and uh, it's work in progress and I think give it another short amount of time it's going to be even better than what it is already so in using it with these other types of tools like Malwarebytes Pro, uh, Hitman Pro and also Roadkiller and these other types of tools you're going to be able to defeat malware a lot more easier okay anyway so I think that's about it for this video my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys hit that subscribe button also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them and if you've got any video requests then send me a message and I'll do my best to uh, do those videos for you now have a great weekend guys don't get too drunk and uh, I'll be making more videos again soon so thanks again bye for now